Good morning, I'm Wendy Petrie and this is your morning news fix for Monday the 19th of August. In this update, fear political lobbying may be impacting health policy and undermining trust in decision making. A report from the Helen Clark Foundation calls for stronger regulations around lobbying and donations. A number of politicians have returned to political life after exiting Parliament in the form of lobbying or PR. Health Coalition Aotearoa agrees more regulations needed. Public Health Infrastructure Committee co-chair David Galler says decisions could be swayed towards private and commercial interests. The Transport Minister is revealing more about roadside drug testing as the government looks to pass the legislation. It's part of a $1.3 billion crackdown on drink and drug driving over three years. Simeon Brown is hoping 3.3 million breath tests will be conducted in a year, along with 50,000 oral drug screens when it comes into place. He says drug tests won't be used as evidence in the first instance. They have a high accuracy rate, but they're not 100%, and so it'll require tests to be done twice, and it will be requiring, if someone has two positives, uh, for then an evidentiary test to be undertaken. Meanwhile, police are still working to identify those involved in the ramming of four police vehicles in Waikato. Officers were called to a large gathering of cars and people in Horutiu around 2.15am yesterday. The crowd dispersed, moving on to converge near the base on Hamilton's northern edge. Inspector Neil Faulkner says one vehicle allegedly reversed its speed towards a police car, which staff were standing in front of. He says they're looking to locate a white flat deck ute and speak with two people. The future of Christchurch Cathedral rebuild could be decided today. The government isn't stepping in to help plug a $114 million funding hole, meaning the site will probably be mothballed. Jamie Cummingham has more. Christchurch Cathedral Reinstatement Chair Mark Stewart says the board will explore all of the options at today's meeting and any announcements will be made in due course. Meanwhile, the City Council's paused payment of its $7 million project grant at the reinstatement group's request until a decision's made. Staying in central Christchurch, the businessman behind an ambitious hospitality project to revitalise Cathedral Square is facing liquidation after failing to meet a funding hurdle. Local businessman Darren Rainbird planned to open the Grand in the old post office building in 2021. He used crowdfunding to raise a lot of money in return for company shares. He's written to shareholders saying his own home will be sold with a move into voluntary liquidation likely on Wednesday. To Sport Now and Manchester City have opened their Premier League football title defence with a 2-0 win at Chelsea. Lydia Coe has finished ninth at the LGP LPGA's Scottish Golf Open after a two-over par final round saw the Olympic champion finish five under par for the weekend. Dan Aitkinson's golden point field goal has given the Sharks a 1918 NRL win over Newcastle, all but ending the night's final hopes. Waikato have inflicted a third straight NPC rugby defeat on Counties Monaco after a 26-20 win in Pukekohe. I'm Wendy Petrie. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.